trip to Buxton. Take a look. It's a very long high street. Very long. these strange stones up and down the high street here I actually think they're meant to be like like a stone for sitting on Oh, got mango pickle. Pickle and everything in there, in that um, mixed pickle. Mm. Alright, did you honest? Get some. Well, why well, don't wear that? So I've all cut it. Helen's just going in the charity shop. Have a little look. There's plenty of charity shops around here. And uh, give her a bit of time to enjoy herself. I'll give you another perspective of the high street here. You can see right at the back of me. And I'll go wider. And you can see through that gap back there, that you can see the nice greenery back there. Because it's a beautiful country area. And uh, this is just a, one of the high streets. And it's absolutely beautiful. And we're enjoying every moment of it. And I'll be back very soon. See you soon. Well, guys, this is the Buxton High Street, and uh, it's got a lot of historical buildings around here. And I've shown you some of the views, and I hope that you've enjoyed this day. And uh, all glory to God for allowing us the privilege and the honor of coming on this trip. You can hear a very noisy, well it sounds like a very noisy motorcycle in the background. But uh, I'm, I'm praising God for this day. And I just want to say thank you Jesus. Thank you for this beautiful place. This is just a day in our life. A day, a trip in the Buxton area of Derbyshire. Where we are having a look at some of the historic buildings and some of the shops. There's Helen. She loves dogs. I just enjoy the dogs. So there you go. 
Watch the van. There's a van behind you. Beefsteak. Yeah. I don't think he's taking a cup of lawn. Beefsteak. <laughs> yeah, go on. Beefsteak. No, look at the camera. Uh, Beefsteak. Uh, all of it. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to go buy a couple of growlers to take home. And growlers and pies. They look nice. Yeah. We've got a beef, the beef steak. We've got a few different ones. Meat potato, yeah. That fella get over there said they're lovely. <laughs> I'm going to get a couple to take an home. Easy tea. <laughs> Easy tea. That one, oh, and some peas. Yeah. Some Martha Lee's and some Jack and Rich. Yeah, look at these pies. They look lovely. We're going to have a look in the, the window of a bakery anyway. And it's all homemade. All homemade, Helen says. That's what the guy That's told just uh, spinning around and it's a little cafe as well. Right, let's get on the sausage rolls. The basic sausage rolls. And then the traditional Cornish pasta. And above is the meat and potato pie. And at the side, to my left, is beefsteak pie. On the lower bottom is potato and corn dog. Right, so Ooh. do you want to look inside? What were you thinking? Actually, I'm thinking the beefsteak. Me too, get a lot of two of them. So we're going to get uh, some beefsteak pies. And I'm just going to show you now what else they have in this beautiful <laughs> shop. Yeah, they have a massive family. You can tell they're homemade as well. Oh, they've got my favourite there, rum truffles. Oh, they're to die for them. And these Viennese fingers also, absolutely delicious. Wow, yeah. What are you guys buying? <laughs> okay. Vanilla slice. Vanilla slice. Vanilla slice, okay. Uh, yeah, two rum truffles and some oat cakes. Look at that. You can do if you want. What's here? Oh, oh it's like sugar, a sugar, sugar. sugar. Okay. These cakes look lovely, yeah. don't they? Yeah. yeah, if you want, yeah. Oh, delicious yummies waiting just to be bought. And and eaten. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, guys. Going into the fish and chip shop. Hey, all right. Um, just have a little sip of my tea while Ellen brings the rest. Right, so you can see there. That's the uh, the chips and the fish with peas and curry sauce. Find out exactly now what it's going to taste like. I'm just going to go for the peas first. You can see there. Actually, these taste really good. And got a creamy texture. And you can see that there's no food colouring added 
to these if you look closely. Yeah, they're very, very hot. Mm. I'm going to try some curry sauce. Try it with a chip. It's not my, not my kind of curry. Taste, uh, I don't know what it tastes like. What do you think? Mm. I'm not overly keen on the curry. Let me just screw this base. That's it. Not overly keen on the curry, but the peas are exceptional. They're very good. In fact, I'm going in for more. We shared one fish between us, and that's, that's the lot. fish. Nice flakes of fish. Batter is very light, but it is uh, a little greasy. But it's nice fish. And you see the chips, and they serve them with the skins on more healthy for you. Mm. Not bad, not bad. Missing a bit of salt. Mm. Try with the peas again. I weren't very keen on the curry but the peas are lovely. Hmm? Helen said I should try the curry again and uh, try and give it a fairer review. So here we go. Still, still, hmm. I mean, it's fair. But it's nothing special. So. You got any more? No. And we get kind of a lot of these weird looking chips as well. Really nice fish and really nice batter, but it's a little greasy, that's the only problem. But it's still very, very tasty. And you hear that nice crunch. And that was Helen's fault coming in there with the fish. Let me. As you've already said. Hmm? Well, not so good. The chips are tasty, but the uh, curry actually down there. Yeah, you have water. to speak up. It's quite watery. Yeah. So, Helen said that the curry is tasty. Was it? Quite watery. But quite watery. It's not her cup of tea. I love that. But the peas are lovely, aren't they? Mm hmm. Mm. Really do like these peas. It's too fresh as well. Oh yeah, you can tell it's very fresh. It's cooked to water. We get a lot of these uh, end bits of the potato as well. Real potatoes, they're not like those frozen chippy ones. These ones are real cut potatoes, so they're all odd shapes. 
no skin at the back of the fish. Yeah, Helen says no skin at the back of the fish. Butter, half an hour. Not very comfortable. Do you think so? Not really, I've had better. Well, my fish is crunchy, the batter. It's okay, but I've had far better. I think you've got to throw it on the one, because one one. Yeah, Helen's, because uh, she uh, had fish and chips in Anglesey Balmaris and she really enjoyed that and she's trying to compare but we can't compare because we're in a different place aren't we? And it's not fair to really. It's not fair to compare but it's good fish, tasty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Helen said her, her batter wasn't crispy, but this bit at the end is very crispy. Yeah, this listen. Bit is. No, well, listen. Yeah, Helen was just cutting in his crispy, and yeah, I'm just going to bite into this last bit. Yeah, Got a big reset on the ends. I love these peas. We really do like fish and chips a lot. I think they're one of Ellen's favourites. Especially when she has the curry sauce to go with it. Anything with curry sauce. And that's including me. Well, sad to say, it's coming to the end of our day. Yeah, what, do you mean? what do you mean it's sad to say? It's been a lovely, lovely day, and I'm you sorry really to see. I really it. enjoyed it, and I'm sorry to be going if I'm honest. What about you? Yeah, absolutely. But have you had a good time? Glorious time. Really I mean, enjoyed. Would you come to Buxton again? I definitely would, would come again. Would you go to Wally, uh, Whaley Bridge again? I definitely do both. Not Wally again. Bridge, Whaley Bridge. I definitely do both again. I've enjoyed it. So, it's been so relaxing. It's been lost to see. And the weather's spectacular. And the weather's been spectacular. Food's been lovely. We couldn't ask for a better day. And what about the people? Do you think they're friendly? Very friendly people. Very nice people indeed. And there's some beautiful properties up here. Yeah. It's just an awesome place to be, really. It's just a lovely, exciting place to be. I'd highly recommend if you ever want to trip out on somewhere different. Because you'll, if you're into charity shops especially, it's full, the high street's full of them. It's really, really interesting and really good. And there's plenty of toilets. It's very well thought, really. Good, so... Oh, that uh, chip shop. Um, the we, chip we, shop. We're going to rate that chip shop now. If I'm very honest. And do it from one to ten, you know, on each item. I'd, one to ten. The fish, maybe a six. I was a bit disappointed. I've had far better. It was like you said, it was quite greasy and it weren't the best and it was come broke up really, didn't it? I like the chips for the fact that they still have the skins on. But, mm. you know, it, about far best, a bit greasy for me. Yeah, but uh, drop in the comments what you prefer, skin on chips or skin off chips. I don't like greasy, I agree with Helen. The food was tasty but greasy. And also the curry was very, uh, mm. lacking, lacking a much luster and flavour. Yeah, it wasn't a nice curry that, but the peas were very, very nice. Mm, no, I thought different. I weren't very impressed with any of it. So I'd say for the peas, maybe, a five. Yeah. The, the chips may be a five, if I'm yeah, honest. what did you say for the fish? Six, I think. Six. And the curry is... Oh. What about the price? What was the so, price? How much did it uh, charge? I think £15, but that was two drinks as well. So the price was fair, but it was nothing spectacular. <laughs> nothing spectacular? Not in my opinion, no. No. So on the overall rating, I'd, I'd say probably a five. Would I go there again? Possibly not. Yeah. If I'm honest. And I, I think I agree with you. Possibly not. I think them scores are quite reasonable. 
the, the the guy who owned it was very friendly and the place was very clean. And the, the food was hot, that side we couldn't fault, but the taste for and It was me, freshly cooked. It was quite bland. But it was... Uh, Blandish. It's not what uh, we're used to. But are we being unfair and comparing to what... Because we, we've certainly had a far better, haven't we, in many places. Yeah, yeah, so maybe we're being a bit unfair. But still, Mike... The Mike, score's not changing. No, the <laughs> score's not changing. And my key issue was I didn't like the curry and I found the fish very greasy. So I won't, on, a, on that note, I won't be going again, no. So out Would of it, 10, to be fair, maybe a six. Well, you've been generous than me. We've been very generous with that. That's an overall score. But on the whole of a town of coming to Buxton, a definite 10. Yeah. Coming back here. Anyway. And the other things we've done today, definitely a 10, but that food, so, very poor. Now we're going to close this vlog and we want to thank God and praise God. So would you join us in prayer? Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, hallowed be your holy name. Father, we just praise you. We exalt you, Father God. We say thank you for this day, Father. Thank you for all the blessings. Thank you for all the wonderful uh, things that we've part partook in. Thank, us. thank you, Father, for providing for us for this trip thank you for the beautiful weather and the fresh air and the beautiful scenery and the nice people that we've met today and we're so blessed and we're so thankful and we praise you and we thank you in jesus mighty name amen amen lord so and lord we pray you'll give us traveling mercies back in the mighty yeah. name of jesus so amen. would you like to say goodbye well thanks for participating in our day but i hope you've liked it we've been as honest as we can be and uh, yeah we've got looking forward to getting back now and bye for now bye and don't forget to subscribe and to share and to put your comment put your comments in and also if you feel like you'd like us to try somewhere you know make a suggestion yeah we might just take and you don't tell that. us china because it's too far that's right <laughs> So anyway, God bless you all. And thank you for spending time with us and thank you for spending time in prayer with us. And we really appreciate you all. And uh, thanks for joining us.